Welcome to Unbiased and on the Fence. I'm Shane. So glad you could join me. I've got some interesting residue from 2011 back when I was going to art college and we had to uh, take a human anatomy course. So I had to draw the skeletal system, the muscle structure of the human body, and I so wish we had to draw the organs too, but, well I didn't back then, but I wish now, of course. But uh, yeah, so I've got uh, what the skeleton looked like back in 2011, right here in this sketch pad. And I've even got the date it was created in the file back then, which says it was April and May of 2011. Take a look at this. I just wanted to show the actual originals that um, were actually drew it on paper here. Because I, I don't know how much of this has changed. I just know what I drew, you know. And I think I might have cropped up the date on the digital version. Looks like I drew this in April of 2011. All right, so before I actually show you the art, if you already are convinced, if you know that the Mandela effect is real, uh, there's really no need to, to show you all that, but just in case somebody comes across here and they're thinking, you know what, you just probably faked all that. I wanna just quickly show that the date on these files here. Now, it's I've gone through two computers since this, so this is on like a separate hard drive, but um, the date modified, still has the original date on there um, and just so you know that I didn't fake this because pretty much anything can be faked but how far is somebody willing to go to fake stuff as I click on it here you can actually see the dates popping up over here and uh, because I moved it into this folder today it seemed like those should be swapped but for whatever reason you can see 425 of 2011 53 of 2011 and um, they're actually named, I was in a class at the time, so week three assignment two. And just so you guys know, I'm not faking anything. So I'm not, you know, I'm not by any means a uh, professional when it comes to the knowing anatomy. So you all might notice some things that I miss or whatever, but these were the pieces of art. Um, the ones on the right are the ones I drew. And the ones on the left were some pictures I pulled off the internet to compare with now. Just looking at these, I didn't notice a whole lot. I mean, someone else may notice uh, more, but the, the main part I noticed, which this is from the, uh, the pad of paper that I showed. You see these extra bones right here? They kind of come up into the spine. We definitely didn't have those before. Look how much thicker the neck is. That's really odd. Here, let me zoom in a little bit. See how they like, it's strange, just like comes around and goes up now. I guess they still kind of went around before, but they didn't go up so high. It's really strange. And uh, here was a more simplified one that I drew back then. By all means, if you know of some changes that these don't re reflect, these are after the change, then it would just be according to that date. Because I know with geography, um, some of my changes, uh, it, was, it almost appeared that some of the changes had already happened by the time I did the uh, world map, which uh, you can actually see in the background on my desktop. <laughs> but um, what I really noticed the most was just the, uh, the neck. Yeah, so uh, I know the, excuse me, the rib cage supposedly got bigger, or I guess that looks elongated compared to, yeah, these are really stretched downward, they appear to be stretched downward on the uh, current one. Now then I had some muscle structure ones. I mean, I, I looked at it, I don't notice any difference, but I'm sure someone who's more uh, versed in anatomy might notice some differences. But that's sort of what I had going on there. I looked at the hands. Uh, I pulled some hand pictures down. And uh, these were the drawings that I did back then. But 
you know, I really don't know what I'm looking at. I kind of matched up the bones, and they all seem the same, but you might notice some things. I did notice the ribs seem awfully a lot straighter than, than how they are now. You know. And on this one, they look a lot straighter, so I don't really know. That does look open more, spread out more. But something to consider. Um, since this is about anatomy and people might have clicked on there, I just did want to mention, you know, we all sat in class looking and uh, at those diagrams or those, you know, those dummies that you could take apart. And most of us had them in our elementary classes. And it was just uh, crazy to see the heart way up here with the lungs going down the sides. And then this lung here looks like it's a little bit narrower. The heart does look like it sticks out on the left side a little bit more, but I remember the heart actually being over where I think this says it's the spleen. I thought it was like be like right in this area right here. That's how I remembered it being. Changes to the pelvic region. I'm not really sure about that. This is what I have recorded from back then. And I actually added more shading on there after a, a review from the professor. A little, a few changes that I've definitely noticed compared to nowadays. I do appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you haven't done it already, please subscribe. I have more coming down the pipe as it relates to this whole crazy Mandela effect. I mean, never a dull moment with this Mandela effect. So, uh, yeah, be looking for that. And I will see you on the next episode. Thank you very much. Thank you.